Today, we're unboxing the most valuable package that I've ever received. This box comes by way of House of Blades, today's video sponsor. And a matter of fact, they didn't tell me what four custom knives are inside the box, so we're gonna figure this out together. Of course, this video is brought to you by House of Blades. If you're in the market for a new knife, then make sure that you hit the link in the description below and use code EDM for 10% off your next order. But let's not waste too much of your time and get right into it. I'm gonna open this thing up with the brand new Tactile Knife Co. Chupacabra. This thing is sporting the Super Lock along with Magna Cut Blade Steel and and aluminum scales. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty hyped to get into this thing. So let's just cut this open and see what we got. These boxes always confuse me. So hopefully I did that right. Nope, I did not do that right. It might be here and here. Is that right? Yep, here we go. Okay, this is the sheet that shows me everything that's inside. We're not gonna read that because I want this to be a surprise, but it looks like we've got a few different ones. So yep, four different knives. We've got a Microtech, a Protech, another Protech, and then what is this? A Pena. Get this out of the way. I think we're gonna start off with the Protex. I'm not gonna even look at the label. Let's just see if I know what this knife is. Um, here we go. Protech always does a fantastic job when it comes to their packaging. They always include one of these clots and oh my God. Okay, <laughs> this is a bronze aluminum Malibu. Oh my God, does this have the Mike Irie custom grind too? Oh my goodness. Now, very few knives make me really have that tingly feeling inside, but look at this thing. It has that crazy dragon scale pattern. I believe that's a mother of pearl inlay along with this crazy compound grind. I wonder what blade steel this is. It actually has no marking on there. We might have to check the box. And here's the information on that. So it's gonna be the aluminum bronze dragon scale handles, abalone button, satin hardware, Mike Irie compound RT blade. So it doesn't even mention what type of blade steel it is, but this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. That mirror finish on that compound grind is just absolutely stunning. So I just looked it up. This is an $800 custom Malibu. I probably wouldn't end up carrying this knife because it's in the collector custom range, but this would be a sweet addition to my personal collection. On to the next one. Again, I'm not going to look at the label just yet. We're going to open this up and see what we've got. And here we go. Oh my God. Okay. Here is the PT. I think the PT Strider from Protec as well. And I believe this is a custom variant with that hex pattern along with a Damascus blade and an abalone or mother of pearl inlay for the push button. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that herringbone Damascus is just gorgeous. It looks like this is number five of 40. So that means that there's only 40 of these ever made. And I'm kind of curious if that's titanium in terms of the scales, but I really do admire this piece. Let's take a look at the label now. So this is a Strider PT 2023.003 custom gridlock textured 17.4 steel handle. Okay. So it's a steel handle. It's featuring a Mike Irie hand ground Vegas forged Damascus blade and a pearl button. This one can't be cheap. Let's look it up real quick. Holy shit. This is an $1,100 knife. And that's probably because there's only 40 of these made. My goodness, this is just absolutely crazy. I can't believe this is in my possession here. If we're talking about pocket jewelry. Here you go. These two knives alone are like almost two grand worth of knives. All right, next up, we have something from Microtech. And of course, this is the new packaging. Here we go. Straight off the bat, this looks like a new model. Is it the Cypher? It looks similar to the Cypher, I think. But there's literally no hardware on the knife aside from maybe this Torx bit here on the pocket clip. So that's kind of interesting. I've never seen this model before. Here we go. It's an OTF and it's got this crazy reverse Tonto sheep's foot blade. What model is it? This is a Cypher 2. On top of that, it's in Magna Cut blade steel. Okay, that's pretty sweet. I wonder if this is the model that has very little blade play. And yeah, that would be correct. That is almost zero blade play, which that's one of the biggest reasons why I don't carry OTFs is because of the blade play. I like to have a knife that just locks in and acts like a fixed blade. Magna Cut blade steel and this feels a little bit more refined in terms of the trigger. If you take a look, it has the signature firing switch from Microtech. And on top of that, there's going to be internal milling where that trigger is sitting. I'm actually really loving the aesthetic of this thing just because there's no body screws or anything like that. And it's utilizing the ball bearing. I don't even know the ball pocket clip, essentially. It does have a built in glass breaker as well. And yeah, I would definitely carry this just because of that blade play, the overall aesthetics, and it probably fits in the pocket really well. Let's do a price check real quick. Wow, this one's going for about 400 bucks, which is actually not too bad for a Microtech switch 
switchblade with magna cut blade steel it's actually super surprising to me at that price point if you guys are interested in getting one of these then yeah just hit up house of blades they have them available for about 400 bucks 360 if you use the edm discount code last but not least we have something super special i need to put on some gloves for this one hang on let's just pop these on real quick there we go and this one bam so even though i don't know what model this is it's coming from pena and i assume this is a custom so i want to make sure that none of my finger oils get on it but let's open this thing up and here we go what in the hell is that what are we even looking at is that zercutai or timascus oh my god okay it's a good thing i have these gloves on the price tag is on there i'm not going to show you guys the price just yet but let's open this up and oh sweet baby jesus what model is this because oh my god you're broke you're fucking poor so this is a Pena X series, which means that this came from Enrique Pena himself. I've never really had the opportunity to have a Pena custom in my possession, and this is just absolutely bonkers. Let's take a look at the tag now and see what they've got. So Pena Knives, Pena Custom 1. I don't even know what the model is, so we'll have to take a look at that sheet. But MSRP on this knife is $1,430, and they've got it priced at about $1,350. Even the pivot colors are Zercutai or Timascus, whichever, on each side. Flipper is amazing and I just want to keep this knife. I just noticed it also has a Timascus backspacer. Let's just take a moment and admire this thing. Let's see if I can get that light on there. Wow, this thing is just phenomenal. Can I just keep it forever? I love the milling pattern there on the titanium frame slash scales. So it looks like it's the Pena Knives Pena Custom 1. Is that a model? I have no idea. Titanium with Timascus collar and clip manual flipper knife. I think this Pena Custom 1 takes the cake out of the whole entire bunch and I'm glad I saved the best for last. But every single one of these knives is special in their own unique way. And I want to know, which one is your favorite? If you guys didn't have to pay for any of these, which one would you pick? Let me know in the comment section below. And another huge shout out to House of Blades for sending these out so I can just take a look at them and admire them. These are going to go back to House of Blades after I'm done making some content on them. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing. Aside from that, thank you guys so much for spending your time with me today. And I guess we'll have to catch you on the next one. Peace out.